What are you doing, Evan? I'm trying to poke some holes in here so I can get these tin snips into this so that I can uh, cut a hole in it. See, I've got this cut about the same size as this. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to build some little rocket cook stoves, basically. Um, with just these tin cans and the inside will be filled with perlite and I'll start off I'll just build a little L tube two of these cans high maybe four or five of these um, and then I'm gonna experiment with trying to build like kind of a J tube with them too and see how that goes but I've built these before little L tubes a lot and they uh, they're really efficient to boil water and to cook um, on a pretty small scale, just twigs. Huh? What do we got here? So I uh, cut the bottom off of some of these other cans here and cut the little slit in it and just bent it. It's a lot easier to oh, bend okay. than that uh, black stovepipe stuff is. Yeah. Just stuffed it down into here. So this is a uh, Roughly what it's going to look like when it's done. I mean, there'll be wood feet will go here. This will continue on. It'll be it'll come out the top. I'll cut some little crenellations for some air to flow. And this time I'm going to try to make it so that there's enough air flow. There needs to be a gap between wherever the pot that you're sitting it on and the bottom of the or the top of the chimney. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Got to cut a lot of these and make all the inner tubing and then fill the in-between with perlite. Cool. Hmm. I'm just cutting yeah, a little, uh, uh, this will be like a little air intake down below and the wood will sit on top of it for the wood feed. And we'll have a little, little fins. Dramatic. Oh yeah. Why? Um. Well, this is. I don't know. <laughs> this might be excessive, but uh, the idea is so that it'll let air through here. You can put the sticks on the top, and you know, it's possible to just to sit in here. Oh, I see. Those are cut together. Yep. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you guys got to get it to fit all into each other and then cop around it? Um, yeah, throw a little mud around it and then fill it with perlite. Fill it with perlite. Nice. Non-flammable insulation is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Perlite's cheap. Okay, so what are you doing now, Evan? Right now I'm going to cut some little crenellations. We're going to make a little uh, rook. Um, and so I'll make a cut and a cut and then bend it down over the top of so this. will sit down in there. Okay. These will get bent down over the top and then there'll be, so there'll be a little bit of space for air to Mm -hmm. to get in there and smoke to leave mm -hmm. and for the a pot to sit on top and be raised up a little bit above where the exhaust is coming out. Okay. Cool. That's the idea anyway. But now we could totally start adding perlite. Cool. More stuff. <clears throat> okay, so this looks a lot wetter right now. Okay, so I'm going to put it around this. Yeah, you just want this joint. You can do just like a tiny okay. little bit. Just, I mean, you just 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 enough to seal it up. Yeah. I'm gonna do 
replicate it. Got it. Keep going. So it's really just tiny mounts. Yeah, just yeah, just enough to seal the gaps, and it wouldn't even be necessary except that our insulation particles are really small. Oh, okay. Because it, it doesn't need to be a perfectly sealed gap or anything. Yeah. For the gases, that doesn't matter. Um, what matters is just the. Yeah. So you're trying to get perlite underneath the can down there? Yep, we want to insulate the bottom of the heat riser underneath it. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on over here. <laughs> just playing with cans. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Um, so there's just this joint now. It would be good to get hubbed up. tricky in there, but then I think we'll be good on that. On all the, that should be all the inner joints, unless that's disturbing. Oh, so I Cool. Yeah. All right. Mm. Oh, well. Whatever, a little clay in there won't really affect the insulation that much. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and yeah. Just try to get it somewhat centered. And then I guess actually you can you can cob this outer joint, mm -hmm. the outside of that. You ready for that? Yep. Oh, hold on one sec. Yep. I'm just gonna try to get it to settle underneath there. Cool. I think yeah, good to go. Awesome. Don't breathe the perlite dust. Cutting the little tabs to bend over the, the thing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Hey. To not spill a bunch of perlite into there. Cause... No, I'll even use this. Uh huh. Smart. Got a little ramp. Try to pack it down just so it's a little more supportive of all the this pipe's gonna be a little jiggly until it's all filled. Can't really get in there. Want a little stick? Um, that wouldn't hurt, yeah. <laughs> Do a little tamping. Just a little bit. Don't want to compress the insulation too much. Probably not even necessary. Cool, it's already more mm -hmm. stable. Just make sure that stays centered while you fill it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure that these are gonna bend. See more perlite? Yep, sure as you can tell. That's made out of trash. Sure, okay, gotcha.
You know, I think... That's pretty good. I think we're probably pretty good. All right. Just like maybe a... Wouldn't hurt to have a handful more. <laughs> yep. So we've got our perlite in. <laughs> this little top cap here. Hopefully it'll fit. Well, I might need to trim it a little more. Will it fit? Yay! Yes. Seals the perlite in there. And then might need to bend these for um, need the pliers. Yeah, there's pliers right here. <clears throat> um, so actually, let's uh, let's cob around this mm -hmm. gap and this gap. Stove made out of trash and mud and gardening supplies. Just bending down these little crinolations. And it holds that all together. Yep, I'll hold it down. And, oh, I may need to cut that a little. You can crimp it with the uh, the guys. Uh, yeah. Crimp it down. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, and if you like squeeze this part, it'll push that down. There oh, yeah, go. that's doing it. Nice. Exactly even even looks want. even looks clean. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like we met so that way. It's gonna let some air in. Yeah, we have a completed L-tube um, rocket cook stove. Cool. We can slip a little more cob on here just to seal it up, but uh, this is this is pretty much it. We've got perlite in between the cans. We've got these places for the smoke to leave. The pot will sit on top of here. Cool. Yeah, I've used these for cooking on. They totally work very efficiently, very little smoke, and uh, yeah, should s save some wood. And propane. And propane, yeah, propane doesn't even grow on trees. <laughs> <laughs> they need pipelines to move it. Yeah. <laughs> I was just throwing a few little bits of kindling down the bottom, some tinder. Uh, um, down in the hole there? Yeah, okay. and then uh, a smaller stick, really small diameter. I don't, I don't really want to use much of anything bigger than like this is probably the biggest diameter you really want to yeah. even put in here. Like, so like a tiny bit bigger. Your thumb is, okay. is too big, yeah. But yeah, you, you want you want like a bed of coals before you even do that. Oh, I see. Um, but yeah, really small well, diameter like, stuff. Just the stuff um, that like falls off of trees is good. So, so then yeah, I would take a little I mean, bit of I'm paper, or, or I guess we can try to use this. It seems sort of dry. We'll see how it mm -hmm. goes. Ultimately, uh, you're not gonna want to be loading in from the top, but just get stuff sort of started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once it's going, you'll just feed it in the... Yep, feed it in the top part here. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom is for air. Let's see how this goes. Okay. And then get a little bit more kind of staged and ready to go in. Mm -hmm. And so this is an L tube, an L tube, no, L. Mm -hmm. um, so it requires like constant feeding. That's one issue. It's not like you just turn it on and it's ready to go. You're gonna be like constantly pushing mm. the wood a little bit further in. I wanted 
experiment with like a J-tube where you just drop the wood yeah. and it burns down gravity fed, but we'll see. Do you have a lighter? Yeah. We know he can light it. Uh, no, raw pork fat, yeah. Hot. Um, sorry, I'll get mixed up. Um, but it gives you instant energy and it has no digestive time. So, literally, go down. Right? Well, it looks like this is smooth. I'm not quite flaming. I, I, an ideal thing would be something like, yeah, something kind of long, okay. like a longer piece hmm. that I can get. You sort of bring it in this way because we really want to get it there we go. from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, already. Oh, sorry. Wanting to go. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Hopefully it'll light some of these sticks up. Um, some little, little, a little bit more uh, small sticks. Awesome. Cool. So it's going in there. Yeah. Yep. And so mm. we just want to keep feeding it with little sticks and sort of pushing them in as they, as the tips of them burn. Cool. When I was uh, had a little rocket taco business. Um, I was, with, with much practice, I was able to feed and feed the fire and cook stuff on there at the same time, but it's much easier to have one person feeding the fire and one person It burns that fast, huh? Working on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, so between the outer can and the inner can, we've got perlite insulation. Uh, so it keeps the, the heat riser insulated and keeps the, keeps the heat moving up and Uses, use very little fuel to produce a lot of heat for cooking on. Mm -hmm. um, we have this sort of spacer here so that the we have an, an air intake down at the bottom and so you can pretty much pack the top with with wood and mm -hmm. it's an it's an L tube so you've got to keep it keep the sticks sort of feeding them in slowly as they burn. Um, I'd like to build a J tube version but this is a good good start illustrate sort of the principles mm -hmm. and uh yeah cool we able to, uh, if we just built this so whatever sort of lining was on those cans is going to burn off initially and it's going to be smoky and gross for the first couple burns but eventually it should be pretty clean burning mm -hmm. awesome yeah, now we've got it. We've got it turned so that the prevailing winds are going in this way to prevent uh, or minimize the risk of it like wanting to run backwards. Right. Mm. Um, and yeah, not really much much smoke right now. No, it seems to be big flame, no smoke. Well, it's pretty much constant attention being an L two. So we should wait on building another L2 and we should just try experiment with the J2? I want to try a J2, J2 next. Yeah. I haven't experimented with the J2 design, but it proved to be too fragile without any fasteners. Check back for a new video on the updated design.